Hey there, and welcome to the second episode of the One Drop of Love vlog. First of all, I wanted to ask you a favor, which is if you like these videos and you want to hear more and see more, then subscribe to my channel. Also, if you're on Twitter, I am too, at Fanshen, F-A-N-S-H-E-N, and also at One Drop of Love on Twitter. We also have a Facebook page and if you've seen the show and you really like it and you want to support us, it's always great to have likes on the Facebook page. I post just a little bit of information there every single day and that is facebook.com slash one drop of love. All right, so I wanted to start off this video by sharing with you my experience at Stanford University last weekend. It was really incredible. So here's a little video recap of my weekend. Okay, so I just had an amazing time at Stanford University yesterday. I got to meet with the students taking Michelle Elam's new Millennium Mix class, um, and we met in the afternoon for lunch, and they had great questions even then without seeing the show. So I was invited to Stanford University by Michelle Elam, the author of The Souls of Mixed Folk. This is a great book looking at uh, creative arts that explore mixed race identity. And uh, it's really taking a critical view of that, really looking at not just the side of celebrating mixed identity, nor the side of, of shunning it, but kind of looking at both sides, a balanced view by taking a look at artists that address the mixed experience, taking a really close look, and also thinking about how this is going to affect the future. You may or may not know that in like a week and a half or something, I am going to be in Atlanta, Georgia, where the Fox Theater on September 21st at 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. And there's a Q&A with Monica Pearson, a local broadcaster who is an Emmy winner. She's doing the Q&A after both of the shows. We really hope you can join us. I'm going to put links below to uh, tickets, to purchase tickets, and also to a discount code which I love, the code is L-O-V-E, love. Now, before the show, on the 18th, I will be at Georgia State University. Really excited about doing this show with Chip Greenwich. Uh, I don't know if it's okay to call him Chip. Now, I think because he's getting his PhD, we should refer to him as George. But uh, my friend George Greenwich, who is from Cambridge, we grew up together and hung out together uh, and did plays together. And he is the big man on campus at Georgia State University. And he's putting together this wonderful event for his organization called Greatest Minds. So check that out. And if you're in the area, please come and join us that day. I'll get a, give a little snippet of the show. And uh, maybe there will be some ticket giveaways there as well. Now, I'm a huge believer in affirmations, and here's one thing that I use to motivate me every single day. So, big girl pants. Sometimes, especially when you're becoming a business person on your own, um, it's really scary, and you're making like scary financial decisions, you're taking big risks, and um, sometimes I am so afraid of it that I just don't do it. And so this reminds me to do it, <laughs> just go for it. And do you have your big girl pants on or big boy pants on? Or if you don't identify with a particular gender, just put your big pants on, put your adult pants on and go for it. Don't be afraid, just go for it. You never know what will happen. Okay, another piece of motivation that I got while I was at the University of Michigan studying theater is from this wonderful acting teacher that I had, and he said, never rest on your laurels. And what that means is keep going, keep pushing, don't think that you, it's because one, you have this one little bit of success, which may be a wonderful thing, that you can kind of just take it easy and relax. There's always more work to do. So of course, when I found out that, that my buddies from high school, Matt and Ben, were gonna help me out and produce this show and help me get it around to different people to see the show, there was a big piece of me that thought, okay, 
yay, this is it, I made it, I don't have to do anything else. That is so not true, that's just the beginning of the work. First of all, obviously, I wanna make them proud, so I wanna do my absolute best. And second of all, most importantly, I wanna make myself proud. And if I had just kinda like sat down and did no more work, then I certainly wouldn't be going to do these shows with the help of my incredible agents. Um, but so you have to keep on keeping on, keep on pushing. While I'm working on getting, spreading the word about One Drop and getting it to different places, I'm also working on other projects. So one of the things that I've been researching and learning about is how to write a TV show. I'm very interested in doing TV, and I've been reading this terrific book called The TV Showrunner's Roadmap. It's really, really good. It's, it's actually a fantastic book whether you're a complete beginner and don't know how television shows work, especially writing for television and creating a TV show. And it also works for people who have been in the business a really long time because he interviews experts, people who write uh, really, really good and successful shows, including Shonda Rhimes, who is amazing, really in-depth interviews with, with these uh, showrunners and the creators of these TV shows, and it's an excellent book. So if you are at all interested in TV, this is a great one to read. I'm also staying in my playwriting group and I go see lots of plays as much as I can. That's really fun and important because the more I see, the I always come home with lots more ideas of things to write. And my friend Carol and I are also working on a new trailer for One Drop of Love. So uh, she and I get together very often. She's a great friend because we motivate each other. So we give each other calls and say, hey, have you gotten this done? And a lot of times we'll, even if we have have separate work to do we'll get together and just work together uh, and uh, the last couple of days we got a chance to really talk about ideas for a new trailer if you've got ideas if you see the trailer now and you've seen the show and you think you know there are some other things you could add to it or even if you've just seen the trailer and not the show I'd love to hear your ideas about what should be in a trailer what makes a trailer interesting what would make you want to go see the show comment below I'd love to hear your comments and I'll I'll let you know which pieces of advice we're able to add into our trailer and I'll keep you posted on the progress of that. Okay finally when I met with the students at Stanford one of the questions they asked me is do you think things are changing in the media for example are we able to see diversity in storytelling to see different stories and I look around at them and I say this to lots of young people I meet it is up to you Look at your opportunities right now. The gatekeepers are not here right now. For example, on YouTube, there are lots of ways that you can create content and put it out into the universe and find people who are like-minded and even people who may disagree with you but are interested in what you have to say. This is your time and trust me, I'm not sure how long it's gonna last, so take advantage of this time. Make a podcast, make a video blog. Get your stories out there. This is the time to do it. Do it! Put your big girl, boy, man, woman pants on and do it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please subscribe above. I think that's somewhere here. And tell your friends about it and share it. And if you're in any of the cities where our show is coming to tour, we so hope you'll come and enjoy the show and stay after for the Q&As. I'd love to hear about your experiences with the show and with things in your life that have to do with history and family and race and justice and most importantly, love. All right, until next time. Bye-bye. Hey there. Uh, so, welcome to the second episode of the One Drop of Love podcast. I'm not recording.